Okay, welcome back to 7 Generation Now. Today, I'm gonna to talk about mat bullies. One thing I love about jujitsu is that it's like a microcosm of life. You're gonna go into the gym, you're gonna have your good days, you're gonna have your bad days. Sometimes all your submissions, your timing is on, everything's working right for you. And there's gonna be days you come to the gym where nothing is going right. It's just like life. In life, you have your ups and you have your downs. And so what I always say to people is that if you stick it out, if you train jiu-jitsu long enough, you're gonna develop not just physical strength, but you're also going to develop mental and spiritual strength as well. So what does this have to do with bullies? Well, much like in life, on the mat, sometimes we encounter people who like to push folks around. I've been training Jiu Jitsu for almost 20 years now. I've encountered a lot of people who are just absolutely amazing training partners. Just so many people that I've learned from, people that have helped me out with my game over the years. And I've also encountered some pretty rough people, people who would qualify as a bully. And I've been slammed before in the back of my neck. I've had people transition from knee on belly to neon neck, to neon jaw. I've been choked, not across my neck, but across my jaw before. I mean, I've had pretty much everything under the sun done to me. I've had numerous injuries from people who are rolling just completely out of control. So let's talk about the mat bully, this type of personality. Usually it's, you know, it's an insecure person who tries to come across as having a lot of confidence. I like to call it false confidence. They probably have a big ego, maybe some anger issues, not always the friendliest person, but definitely the kind of person that we don't want to roll with. And when we do roll with them, we have to be really watchful and mindful that we don't get injured. So I'm going to explain to you the best way to deal with a mat bully. But before I get to that, I want to talk a little bit about mat enforcers. And so in some cases at some gyms, not at my gym, but in some cases, gyms actually have a guy. It could be a few guys, uh, maybe even a woman as well, somebody who qualifies as the mat enforcer. So if somebody comes into the gym and they're being too rough, they're being too aggressive, they're bullying people around, you just nod over to the mat enforcer and say, hey, why don't you roll with this guy? And then they straighten him out. At my gym, we don't have that one person. We all try to kind of enforce the mat rules together. We want people to have a good experience. We want people to come in and want to train jujitsu. We don't want you to come in and get injured by some fool who doesn't care about your well-being. So at my gym, typically we all deal with that individual. And if you come into the gym and you slam somebody or you hurt somebody's neck because you're completely out of control, you're not going to last in our environment. And even though we don't have a mat enforcer, we definitely all together you know, we want to look out for one another. We keep an eye on people who may train a little bit out of control. And again, there's some people who don't know any better. I'm not really talking about them. There's some people who come off the streets and all they have is their brute force, their muscle, and their athleticism, and they don't know any technique. So, you know, you can't blame those people. You have to teach them the right way. But the mat bully is somebody who knows a little bit of jujitsu, somebody who stays away from people who are better than them because, of course, if they lose on the mat, um, even though there really isn't any winning or losing on the mat, but in their mind, they're losing if they get tapped out. So they train and roll with people who are of lesser talent, lesser technique, and so forth. People that How to deal with the mat bully. This is what you do. When the mat bully comes to you and says, hey, do you want to roll? You simply say, no. That's it. It's easy as that. There's no rule that you have to roll with every single person at the gym. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, when I was a student, I was one of those people. I rolled with everybody. I got smashed. I got bullied around by people that I probably shouldn't be rolling with because you know, I had a regular full-time job. I had a family. I needed to be able to get up in the morning. And there were times where you know, I got injured at the gym because I rolled with somebody who was completely out of control. Somebody who was just looking to win the gym Olympics, if you will. But, you know, I've really changed my thinking on this. And I think that it's better to come into the gym, have a good experience, get a good workout in, 
Work on your technique, work on your jujitsu game, whatever it is you're looking to get out of jujitsu, just some fellowship, some friendship, losing some weight, getting in shape, getting better at this really beautiful martial art, whatever it is, okay, that should be the goal. If it, the goal is to compete, then work on you know, your competition jujitsu. But it shouldn't be to come in and have to be tormented by somebody who's maybe a little stronger than you and somebody who just wants to be a bully. So you can say no. And if the teacher, the coach, if the professor, if they tell you you have to roll with them, you can tell your coach like, hey, I don't wanna roll with this person. This person's injured me in the past or I've seen them injure other people. They're a bully. You know, they um, are not a good training partner. And there's no rule. I don't understand why, you know, people think, well, I have to roll with everybody. If there is somebody at the gym, and I've had them even at my own gym, Right now, we don't have anybody would qualify. Most people are there to help each other get better, have a good time, and train jujitsu. But at a lot of gyms, you're gonna run into to mat bullies. I always tell my students, whenever you go to another gym, be careful because you don't know the culture. You don't know if you're gonna encounter a person or a bunch of people or just looking to kill you. And I've heard some really uh, terrible stories. I've seen it happen myself. I've been injured by a mat bully before, and I've been injured by people who train completely out of control. Most of us are not going to be the superstar jiu-jitsu fighters who are you know, on fight to win, who are fighting in ADCC, the world championships. Most of us just want to go to the gym and get a good workout in, learn jiu-jitsu, get better, have fun, and grow as a person. And there is nothing wrong with that because 99% of the people who train qualify as that individual. And so we should be able to do this and not get injured. But you are going to encounter uh, mat bullies because that's life. I mean, there's bullies everywhere. There's bullies in the workplace, uh, you know, bullies in elementary school. You would think that as you get older, that you would get to the point to where you wouldn't encounter bullies any longer. But that's just not the case. They're, they're all over in our society. Our society, unfortunately, has a culture where we produce a lot of people with big egos, people who want to bully others. And you get that even in jiu-jitsu. So at, at my gym, if you encounter somebody who you don't want to train with for whatever reason, you don't have a good vibe about them, or maybe they hurt you in the past, or maybe they just roll too rough, say no. And if you do and really do encounter somebody who's a mat bully, uh, my advice is never roll with that person again. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be bringing more videos on topics related to jujitsu. So if you would like, hit that subscribe button, share the video, and until